Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to check out Render Protocol's price chart and see what is going on in terms of Elliott Waves, classic technical analysis, and also indicators. Now, before we see what is happening in the short term, I need to tell you that in the long term, I am absolutely bullish on Render because I do believe there is a very good chance we may have five wave up in here into a larger DV wave one and then correction for wave two and from here going up we might be on our way to have a very strong extension as rusher and this might be another five up into wave one and then another correction for wave two but this one and two chances are are going to be on a lower degree relative to this one and a two right in here and after our wave two is over we are going to get a big move up into wave three Four, five in order to complete the sub waves for this larger degree wave three right in here and then a correction for four and we're gonna get after it even another move up into wave five so as you can see in the long term i am actually very very bullish on render but this doesn't mean that in the short term we are also going to be optimistic you see if i just go on h1 time frame there we go so Let's actually go on H4 so you can see the structures a bit better. Here is the deal. I think we are going to have in here, starting from this point, 5 wave impulsive structure up and followed by that a correction structure on the outside. Our correction can be in the form forms, but there's a decent chance that it might be in form of an ABC zigzag, which the subways for it are going to be like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave down into wave A and then correction up for wave b maybe an abc maybe a wxy maybe even a triangle doesn't really matter and then another five down into our select and let's go on the live chart there we go you see this can be one two three four five wave down into our a leg and then we are having in here a wxy probably in form of a double zigzag into wave b and from the side there is a chance that we may have one two three four five down into one correction for wave two and at the moment we might be on our way to have a five wave impulsive structure on the outside into this wave three and then after it correction for four and yet another move down into wave five so as you can see in like very short term it seems like that we want to continue this move down a bit more it renders pressure however on a higher degree do not get me wrong this is again absolutely 100 percent bullish because again I do believe that we are having a 1 and a 2 in here. And after this move down in the short term is over, we are going to get a big move up into wave 3, 4, 5. In our time to set another all-time high and take the highest side in this area about, let's say, 13, 13 and a half dollars. Now, let's go on H4 time frame again and zoom in a bit more in this area and see what is happening. So, if you remember, the last time that we talked about the render protocol's price chart, we were somewhere around these areas, I think specifically this area right in here, and I was saying, okay, this can be starting from here, 5 down into 1, correction for wave 2, and then another move down into wave 3, and there is a chance that we might get a move up, but we shouldn't be at that point completely bullish because that move might be just a correction structure into 4 and then after it we are going to have another move down into wave 5 in order to have the sub waves for this larger degree wave 3 right in here and as you can see now we are actually having this move on the upside and i'm going to tell you maybe at the moment it's actually best to be a bit careful in renders pressure why because Again, there is a chance that this pattern might be a correction a structure up and in the short term, we may actually have another move on the upside, but after it, we might get a big move down. And if we get another move up at that point, okay, we can say that this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up, followed by that a correction down, maybe an ABC expanded flat and then we are going to have in here one, two, three, four, five wave on the upside and on a high degree. Basically, this is going to be an A, B, C zigzag. So again, you see, in the short term, it seems like that we want to get another move up, especially because if I just summon a bit more, there we go. The nature of this move down right in here looks a bit more like a correction and not an impulse. We suggest this move up in the short term might actually continue a bit more. But after it, we should be very careful because maybe 
we are going to complete the subwaves for this ABC on the upside, which means, okay, the next move is actually going to be a solid one on the upside in our time to take the lowest low in this region for the first target about three and a half bucks. And if in this move down, we take this low right in here about let's say four four and a half dollars okay at that point we can actually say with quite a bit of confidence that this very scenario which suggests off of the lowest line here we are having a correction up and not an impulsive movement is happening and we are going to continue our move down in our time to take this low right in here now what is going on in terms of classic technical analysis meaning support and resistances you see in terms of classic ta we talked about it when we were somewhere around these areas i was saying look we are having a very important support area in this region from weekly and daily time frame at the same time between let's say four and a half to about five dollars and i was saying if you want to say that this support is broken you need to see in weekly chart a candle close under here followed by that a pullback to the broken area and then after it a continuation of the move down in our time to take the slow at that point you can say with a lot of confidence that this is going to be a confirmed broken support and if i just go on weekly time frame and zoom in a bit more in here there we go what do we have as you can see this can be our initial candle close under this region and for all we know the current move on the upside like we said in the previous video might just be a very simple pullback and after this move up is over what are we going to have well according to the very scenario another move down in an attempt to take this slow so this is another reason to be maybe a bit careful in renders pressure now in terms of indicators what is going on let's zoom in a bit more on weekly time frame okay as you can see we are having in here a salt signal in MACD and we are getting one in a stock RSI as well, which is a very, very bad sign. But if I guess you want to be still optimistic, you can argue that this signal is not confirmed yet. So it's best to wait until the end of the week. And at that point, if we are still going to have this thing, it is going to be a bad sign for renders price chart, especially if at the same time we manage to get a rejection from this region and continue our move on the downside. And in daily time frame, what is going on? Okay. We are having a buy signal in SOKRSI and a sell signal in MACD. So according to SOKRSI, there is a chance that, again, like we said it earlier, we may continue this move up in render a bit more. But after it, if the bearish scenario is going to be in play, we might get another move on the outside in our time to take this low right in here. And if you want to make sure a bit sooner that we are actually bearish, you need to see in this move, when are we going to take this low? When we take it, at that point, you can say with quite a bit of confidence that this ABC up is in play and our move down is definitely not over yet. So these are the reasons for why you should be a bit careful as he's at the moment in the short term in renders price chart. And I hope I explained everything well and you understood what is going on in render protocol. Anyway, if you found any value in my content, I would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on Twitter. And if you want more, maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto, or maybe you want to learn some solid TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets, you can become a member and ask me anything you want. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.